listening and reading exercise. Listen, read and repeat the text that will appear on your screen. Reading comprehension will be tested later. Where to stay? You will travel, but don't you have a place to stay? Do you know the differences between a hotel, motel, and hostel? Read on to learn about these differences. Hotel. Hotels are the most common type of hospitality that exist. A hotel is an establishment that provides an accommodation service in bedrooms or a few accommodation units in smaller quantities that are private, in the same building or separately, but still part of the same hotel and with exclusive access. It also has a minimal reception service, a breakfast service and a sitting room for guests to stay in, in addition to providing other complimentary services. Hotels are categorized as 1 to 5 stars. 5 stars are the highest quality and consequently the most expensive. Now, we will write a brief description of hotels according to their star. 1 star, economic. It is expected that a one-star hotel offers clean and basic accommodations with few or no additional spaces. Rooms are usually decorated to be functional. It may or may not have a private bathroom, a phone in the room, a TV or other services. Generally, a one-star hotel does not have a bellhop to help you with your bags, a valet parking service or private parking, which means you must park by yourself and carry your own bags. A one-star hotel is ideal for a low-budget traveler where price is his primary concern. Two stars, value. A two-star hotel is expected to offer basic and clean accommodations. They might or might not have a business center or internet access, but generally do not have a meeting room, gym, or athletic facilities. A restaurant is often limited to coffee or a continental breakfast. Bedrooms usually offer a private bathroom, phone, television, and limited services. A two-star hotel might offer a bellhop service, who is the person who helps you carry your suitcases from the hotel entrance to your room. Usually, a tip is given to the bellhop for his service. Even though there are no international regulations on tipping, usually $1 to $2 per suitcase carried is given, though this is according to the criteria of each person to pay a higher fee. A two-star hotel is ideal for business travelers or explorers, where cost is a factor, but they desire basic services. Three stars, quality. A three-star hotel places a stronger emphasis on comfort, style, and a personalized service. They often have a hotel restaurant, pool, gym, a convenience store, and a bellhop service. Generally, there is a meeting room and or conference room and the related available services. Bedrooms include more services and there is a more careful attention to quality and comfort. Depending on the country, some hotels in this category offer private parking. A three-star hotel is ideal for business or tourist travelers who look for a little more than basic services. Four stars, superior. A four-star hotel is a superior property which generally offers more than one restaurant, a bar, and room service with an extended schedule. Available services might include a bellhop, concierge, and valet parking. Normally, they have a conference room and business services. Rooms are big and generally offer nice furniture, high-quality bedding, bathroom products, and a wide variety of services like a minibar and a hairdryer. A four-star hotel is ideal for travelers who seek more services and amenities and a greater level of comfort. 5 Stars, Exceptional A 5-star hotel is service-oriented and provides high standards for comfort and quality. It has more than one restaurant, usually including more than a gourmet restaurant, as well as a bar or sitting room, and 24-hour room service. It may also offer tennis courts and access to a golf course, as well as a spa, modern gym, and swimming pool. A 5-star hotel is ideal for demanding travelers that seek a personalized service, high-quality facilities, and a variety of services and on-site. 4 and 5-star hotels might offer an all-inclusive service, which implies that the accommodation fee includes unlimited food and drinks during your stay. Hostel Hostels have lower prices and quality standards than hotels. The main feature is the availability of shared rooms, from 3 to 9 beds, and sometimes even more. Most of them have a shared bathroom located in a hallway. 
Many hostels now offer rooms for one or two people with private bathrooms. However, this type of room usually costs more than shared rooms. Most of the facilities in hostels are intended for common use by all guests. They may even resemble homeless shelters, but hostels are always privately owned and may or may not have restricted regulations. They are usually the first choice for backpackers and foreigners who want to meet people and have a place to stay at the same time. Motel Motels are transient establishments located mainly on the road and at the exits and entrances of cities. They have parking facilities and are mainly intended for overland travelers who need to rest. Motels must have at least 10 rooms and provide gastronomic services to their customers. Contrary to what many people think, motels can be a good and cheap option to stay for a while. 